like the original concepts of Halo Combat Evolved, and they're like walking, you see like those big creatures or whatever. Yeah. You saw a little bit of that transpired to yeah. Reach. Yeah. I want that stuff in Infinite. I mean, maybe it doesn't go there at launch, but you know, they're planning to support this game for a long time, so I hope something gets added, right? And there's even a planet next to Zeta Halo with life, I believe. Yeah, no, so, I agree. Who knows? Yeah. I was I was gonna I say I, I agree on that. And and but the thing is, I think it'll be there, but not at the scale of what you saw. <laughs> yeah, I think I it'll can... be there though. I can I uh, I'm wondering, God, we just we don't know much at all. We don't know how <laughs> if it's if it's handling like if it's planning on having uh, potentially scripted events in the vein of like Red Dead Redemption Two, where you can just be walking down the street and some guy will be like, "I have a snake bite. Can you suck the venom out of me?" You know, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> and you it, like I, i'm wondering if we're gonna get uh, situations like that or if this if this is just kind of a a clean cut halo experience with just a sort of open-ended well, world th this may be much and i'm sorry to interrupt but like um oh, when right. we saw infinite and we saw like the hand of atriox and all the cool stuff they're doing with this open semi-open mm -hmm. world setting um i know it's gonna look a lot like a ripoff but do you remember uh, Shadows of Mortar and how it had a nemesis system? Yeah. It will be really cool if they copy something like that. I know the brutes already look like those creatures from Lord of the Rings, but, like, man, wouldn't that be really cool if, like, chieftains would be hunting you down specifically and setting up traps like uh, Dross Hunter just said? I just Dude, think that would be awesome. Well, to have the thing nemesis. is, that's that's why they have uh, Jega, right? Jega yeah. is, is something that... <clears throat> so imagine this. Like, let's picture this real quick. You and the pilot, chilling, you're on a mission, you get dropped off, right, uh, in a location, mm -hmm. big grassy valley or something like that, and your destination is essentially to travel down into a hex cave or canyon or crevice or something like that, right, uh, to go inside of the ring and, and to... basically establish uh, or take over like a, a forerunner structure that's invaded by brutes and... Um, uh, hunters and all that stuff right so essentially how it works is that on your way there there might be something that pings you saying hey there are marines or maybe there's a comm that comes in and goes like hey chief we need your help we're up on the cliff right. you know um and then you go up on the cliff you you see the green smoke red smoke whatever it is help them and then by helping them how the exploration essentially rewards you is you're going into a place that this the the game essentially knows you're gonna have harder enemies the further down you go. Mm -hmm. So let's let's have the let's have the player potentially go up so that if he goes up or she goes up, gets the marines and then they give you a rocket, right? Now you're better equipped for the mission that's at hand, right? Without you even knowing that. So essentially by you going off the beaten path, maybe you find a cave. Maybe you find a, a base of of jackals or grunts or whatever and and through that you can maybe get some audio logs that then help you in understanding more about the actual level and the mission itself you know like exploration i feel rewards you not only in customization and whatnot potentially of how it you know impacts all that but it actually helps you in becoming better equipped for the actual experience you know ahead itself so that's that's kind of how i see it um i, I visually I saw it so much like just you know? having that uh, what do you call it? Having that feeling or having that thought in the back of my head where it's just like, uh, I can, you know, explore. I don't have to just kill these, you know, brutes or grunts right now. I can go off. I can go, you know, look for things. I'm hoping there's like skulls that are like placed around the campaign. Um, oh, yeah. I'm sure there will you know? be. I'm sure there will be. That would be incredible. And then, you know, achievements for that. Maybe even like the funniest thing I think 3 for 3 could do would be include like a Craig achievement or skull where oh, it's definitely. just like, you stumble up on this brute and you're like, what the fuck? He's got no facial hair. He looks, you know, uh, not updated in the graphics. And then soon it will be, shit, that's him. That's Craig. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I think, yeah. Um, so I'm, I can't wait to see what they do when they reward um, player exploration. Should be, should I be mean, great. Be a Craig skull for all we know. Every time you kill a brute, it's just going to be that face. Just Craig every time. <laughs> so, guys, what if I, I, yeah. I started my stream on halo follower uh, my side of it um i'm okay. so out of the loop oh, yeah. but i got it figured out um okay, I'm, out. I'm just gonna snap your i'm <laughs> gonna snap talking your chat about up here and I'll, I'll just i'll just peep both chats at the same time so we'll just keep an eye i hate craig yeah. am i the only person that hates craig i don't hate no, craig. I I craig. craig is silly I hey he's my lord and savior 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think Craig is horrible. I don't think he needs to be a fundamental aspect of the game. <laughs> oh God. Oh man. But no, um, on the topic of Craig, so with the July sh- I said July already. With the showcase coming tomorrow, um it's crazy. We know tomorrow. it's not gonna be a 4K stream, right? Where there's a lot of people watching, no, it'll be about ten eighty uh, lower bit rate, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I have a feeling with everyone ready for Craig 2.0, they're going to find something. And I really hope that doesn't deter, you know, the excitement for Halo Infinite. I really don't want the story of Halo Infinite to become Craig 2.0 like it was Craig 2.1.0 last year. Because while Craig is cool or whatever, it's funny. Yeah. I it's, want to appreciate the thing this is game. something. Yeah, no, it, it it ultimately it was it, it it kind of turned into a depreciative thing, which I don't even objectively yeah. think that. What the th- the strange thing to, that always struck me was that people seem to act like he had like he was this really ugly, terrible texture, but he's not. He doesn't even look that bad. Like he's a perfectly acceptable. Te- you know what the, the problem is? Is people have been spoiled by like single player linear experiences. So like. When we get when something like The Last of Us Two drops a month before the Halo Infinite reveal, and people look at like Ellie in The Last of Us Two, who is in these you know these in engine technically in engine cutscenes, but that are handcrafted and are thirty frames per second that exist in an environment that is just about as big as the room they're occupying, and that is it. There's nothing else outside of it, and you consider the fact that Halo Infinite, you're looking at a full open explorable world as far as we can tell uh, and all of these different things going on all these particle effects happening all these different enemies and textures and character models and and reflective qualities and bump mapping and ai, and AI anti-aliasing uh lighting global illumination lot. there's a lot going on there's a hell of a lot more going on in halo infinite than there is now i will say the lighting was disappointing of course the lighting was disappointing was there's no denying that the lighting was disappointing whatsoever but at the end of the day, if if the lighting in Halo Infinite ends up looking only minorly better than it looked in the uh, the July reveal, it makes it doesn't it's not the end of the world because I mean just yeah, you have so. to consider the scope of what we're looking at, you know. Well, I I will tell you is that when it comes to Infinite's graphics and and how they're updated and whatnot, more of the focus is going to be on the actual. Um, like the jankiness of of what we saw in in July, mm-hmm. I actually thought that all in all the July reveal was really not that bad. Yeah, uh, there's there's a lot of things that stood out and that got amplified. But if you looked at the core base mechanics of like the movement mechanics and uh, just the gameplay in general, it looks like a solid game. It looks like all the the elements of Halo Five that people did not like got basically reduced to uh, essentially hey. I've always said that this game is going to be like a mix of like Halo 3 and Halo 5, right? Movement-wise and gameplay-wise. And the thing is, they're going to do a lot of things right with this. It's going back. I think this is going to be the first game in 10 years that feels like a legitimate Halo game and that really does justice to the world, the universe, and and the sandbox and, and whatnot. But the thing is, uh, apart from that, what we're going to see is not some exponentially different you know, graphical improvement. I, I think it's it's going to be very similar to what we saw. Textures are going to be better. Lighting is going to be better. Uh, but overall, be sure too. what'd you say? Popping's going to be better for sure too. Yeah, and that's what I mean by like all the little details and jankiness. That'll be smoothed out. But when it comes to multiplayer, I you know, reality is when people see a video online, they they will tweak that thing like crazy. But all of that goes out the window if it's simply just a fun game. Like, mm-hmm. when people get their hands on it and they play it, it all goes out the window. They're like, right. oh, who cares if this grunt doesn't speak correctly or any? You're never going to notice yeah. this in-game anyway. 100%. You know, the, the oh, only reason why yeah. you bring it up as much as you do is because you can rewind this video that's 10 minutes long a thousand times. You know, yeah, that's the only yeah. reason why. Hey, but Otto, I think it's going to be a solid game. Otto, yeah. fun fact. <laughs> yeah. uh, we actually did initially try and get Sean W. for this. We just did, he, The timing didn't work out. He wanted to be a part of this, actually. Yeah, I have people yeah, saying that on my stream too. That's what <laughs> I'm referring to. I'm I'm reading their posts because I've pour got out, both the chats. Pour up. one out, guys. Yeah, pour, out pour it out for Sean, for Sean Dubs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, so you said in seven minutes we're gonna take questions. We yeah. should probably actually talk a little bit more about like, uh, I mean, we're all convinced, right? We're all in agreement that this is gonna be multiplayer. Oh, definitely. You know, oh, yeah. I think there's gonna be a sure. slice of campaign, it's, but I think it's, it's multiplayer. It's gonna be primarily multiplayer and then a little bit of campaign. 
a few things. Slot supplements. Yes, I, I believe so. Uh, so a few things that I think we should touch upon real quick is like the sandbox. Uh, any specific weapons or vehicles we want to see? Yes. Um, Plasma rifle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just I'm just gonna, uh, gonna, gonna be vague. Pops out to you guys. So, or CGI. We might get some CG multiplayer. So that actually, might blend into you yeah. mentioning CGI, I I think you're trying to talk net, but I'm just gonna cut cut in with this you real bet. quick. Um. I want to mention that Sketch the other day was talking about how the whole marketing campaign for Halo Infinite was essentially just put on pause. He said this yesterday, like just last night, and he was like, yeah, so the marketing was put on pause, and there's stuff like... he. I think he pretty much straight up said that there's a, more CG trailers and stuff coming. I don't know if we want to expect that at E3 or if that's going to happen down the road, but it makes me think there is actually a lot more to come in terms of the rollout for Halo Infinite's you know, oh PR. Yeah. You know, um uh -huh. when when uh that Halo 5 beta was announced or whatever, remember that was completely C CG. If yeah. you guys know what I'm talking yeah, about. But the thing and is, it showed yeah, a lot of armor be, abilities. You, this cannot be a tell not show situation. They have to show here. Yeah. You know what I mean? We have to have something to show for the entire year delay that Halo Infinite has received. That's yeah, critical I, right now. I, I, I don't I don't think they're gonna do that. If you guys have you noticed that they haven't put out one teaser? Yeah, no. that's what I was talking about. No. So the thing is, uh... yeah. So the reason, a reason why is just, I think it's just smart marketing. It's essentially like, hey, we hyped this thing up like crazy last time. Let's and lower expectations. Fun. Come out with something that we really believe in, right? And then blow them away. Thank hey, you. It's, Rex. it's it's Sorry. the reverse of what they did last time. And if if you really look at, I mean, how many months until we got November? How many months is this? Oh, let's like follow up quick. Five. Five. So the thing is, you got to look at it as in they have a four month marketing plan, right? That's how long Infinite's marketing plan is. So if a beta comes out, it'll come out in July around that time. Yeah. If it's supposed to be around uh, November when the game releases, which quite honestly, it, it just kind of goes like this November 15th release date, right? July 13th or mid July is when the beta comes out for two to three weeks. After that, you'll get more CG stuff. After that, you'll get more promotions, more esports stuff, uh, and then the marketing kind of just trickles out like that, but in big ways. You'll see a marketing sure. campaign that has to do with the the banished and chief and Cortana yeah. will start coming into play. But the beta, I think, is literally within a month, little over a month. That's For it. Sure. There's there's um, literally no other time that they can have. Ron, if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna shout out these super chats, go right ahead, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, Born Stellar said something. Uh, I think he was, I don't know who was talking about it, but he said that's a scapegoat. Red Dead 2 looked far better in its open world, not to mention that it's even on the series. Uh, I don't know. For me, oh, Red like, Dead 2 does frames. a lot of things with draw distance and, and such. Yeah. Um, I mean, I agree that Red Dead 2 is incredible looking. I don't think it, anything it, has looked like it. There's another, there's, yeah, there's another thing that you have yeah. to remember is that it's a lot easier for a third person game to look technically impressive than a first person game because you're seeing the, like, okay. Let me put this into perspective in a way that, that will quantify all of this. You would never have had a Craig the Brute moment if it was third person because we never would have gotten close enough to see the character model the way that we did. That wouldn't happen in a third person game. So the microscope that a game is under when it's in first person is completely different. This is why when people say they like compare things like Horizon Zero Dawn even, which is open world uh, and is going to have a 60 FPS mode and is, um, you know, it's, it's graphically similar uh, we should expect something similar to it. I don't necessarily agree because, again, it's a first-person world in Halo Infinite compared to a third-person world in Horizon Zero Dawn. You're never getting close enough to really smell the roses, whereas Halo has a patented level of detail that's not really done in a lot of other franchises. Like, you can look at Halo 3 right now and still you could crank it up to 4K and zoom in and see the cuts and scratches on things because that's the level of detail that's expected from the franchise. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also, it's Red like Dead art style. Yeah, it's it an is art style, an art style. But Red yeah. Dead aims for thirty frames per second, and if you play the game, the AI isn't necessarily the best. Like, there's a lot that's going on in Halo that just isn't going on in Red Dead. For sure. I mean, you know what? Enemies on the screen. <laughs> yeah. You most know what? Of the stuff. Most of the stuff is a lot more rudimentary, rudimentary and scripted in a, a much less sophisticated way. Enemies that you're fighting in Red Dead Two either shoot at you or don't shoot at you whereas yeah. in halo they have all different kinds of weapons that they can choose from they have fuel rods they have turrets they have grenades that they throw they have equipment they throw out etc cetera, etc cetera. 
the physics alone. Yeah, exactly. I mean, come on. So, so I, what's interesting is, man, if everyone had the perspective of a game developer of understanding what it takes oh, God, to run something at 120 <laughs> frames per second, and also to have the the FOV. Right, I would. It's going to be super ultra wide. I, I mean, ultra wide <laughs> to be able to scale yeah. the weaponry and just the overall world to support that is a, incredibly <laughs> impressive. And like I said before, people are going to like. We got to fully expect it, even if they blow us away on Sunday. Right, people are going to be upset regardless, just because yeah, they like to, and also sure. gets clicks. But the bottom line is, this game is the closest thing. I truly do believe to a classic Halo experience that we're ever going to get, especially in the past 10 years, because it, it it's going to be modern, but it's going to feel nostalgic. I, I think we're going to see many things tomorrow that hint back to, oh, yeah, we used to do that back in the old school Halo day. Mm -hmm. You know, like, there's going to be much of that very similar to what Battlefield uh, 2042 did, right? With the uh, the jet and the rocket, right? Um that was a callback to, you know, a, a yeah, stunt. Like a, a stunt yeah, yeah, that yeah. someone did. I <laughs> yeah, feel man. like 343 will do something, maybe not to that extent, but it's it's definitely going to harp and in, in, in really play to the ear of the classic Halo fan more than Halo 4 and Halo 5 was. Yeah, I, not, I just I, fully, I, fully I, expect I, that. Everything in, is in Red Dead is very ignorant. No, there's no there's no misunderstanding how impressive Red Dead is. Red Dead is very impressive. I don't think anyone here is very. trying to dispute that. But Halo and Red Dead are very different games with very different engines that are doing very different things. That being said, guys, it is 6.30 officially, so that means the clock has struck and it is time for us to switch over to Q&A. So go ahead and start spitting questions in the chat and we'll get to them, okay? Sounds good. Uh, Ron, you were going to say something. Yeah, I'm actually trying to remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry, I think I might have oh, steamrolled well, it. Yeah, I was going to say mean, something, I'm, and it is a question. There were, I mean, there's, there's like, if, if I don't know if this might be a... I don't think it's a big question for us to answer real quick, but, like, if I had to think of one thing that I, I want to see tomorrow, and you guys should also think of your thing when I say this, is yep. I just want to see the return and re-implementation of equipment and yes like the grappling hook we do That's, know now we, we know. is confirmed to be on the map like yes. an arena should have yeah not and that's why i hated halo 5 multiplayer and y'all were saying someone was saying that it's not going to be like uh, appealing to people that played halo 4 or 5 it's going to be something new and kind of more based on halo 3 ish but yeah at, the, as much as i want that i i actually disagree because i think halo 5 is i mean they they think that they did great on halo 5 and i think they did i mean i just didn't feel like it was a halo game well okay so tomorrow we're probably from, every, see, uh, from everything on, we understand him, about him, him. hold on let him finish his thought <laughs> i mean no i mean no that's yeah. it that's it i yeah. i just think we're gonna see something like halo 5 i, I and we're oh, gonna see that from return everything of the I east see sweaty stuff from everything I understand, I it's you. essentially just a halfway point between Halo 5 and Halo 3. Because there really yeah. was a lot that worked with Halo 5. I mean, objectively, the S gunplay, despite everything being a laser and all that, the gunplay was fun. We got to take questions, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah, but hold on, Jess, I want to I wanna, I wanna put one more thing out there. Is that, Ron, I agree with you. This, is, this game's going to go in the direction of Halo 5. It's not going back to classic. Those days are gone. But the thing is, so many nostalgic elements of the classic games are coming back in Halo that are going to be hinted at in big ways tomorrow that people are going to be genuinely surprised by. I believe that. But um, I also think we'll see new weapons and all types of stuff. But yeah. the bottom line is it's definitely going to go when, when the advanced movement route goes. I think we saw pretty much the base movement in the July reveal, yeah. which was essentially mm -hmm. yeah. clamber, slide, like, hey, let's make this Spartan feel as if he or she is actually uh, a movable, you know, like flexible and, and capable super soldier instead yeah. of just l letting them walk. But let's take away all the really excessive stuff that that made it feel like, uh, you know, out of the norm for at least the Halo franchise. So I think thrust and all that is gone. Chase Spencer asks, do you think that the story will have add on? Because they said, oh, I have add-ons because they said it's going to be the main platform for the next 10 years. Anyone want to feel that? Absolutely. absolutely. 100%, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. I think that there's no question well, about that. What full of DLCs. Like? Yeah, for sure. So well, let's go there's to some people that are asking when E3 is. So this is a pre-E3 
talk. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's going to be it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Morning, so we're okay. actually, we're tomorrow. like about 15 hours out. 16 hours oh, yeah, out it's at of one o'clock weekend. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in the UK, yeah. it's likely six o'clock PM for you. Uh, if you're on the uh, West Coast, it's going to be 10 o'clock AM. Yes. Let's see another oh, question. Um, how, do you think, how do you think Halo <laughs> Infinite can compete with Fortnite, Warzone, etc.? Uh, constantly adding things to the game. So I yep. think, like we are just saying, the platform for 10 years, right? So Halo Infinite, um, I, before, I, I reckon as it launches, right, 3v3 probably mapped out the next two years at least uh, of what content they're going to be releasing. So I actually think in terms of elite DLC, like, you know, adding elites to the game, I actually think that's something we will see. Yeah. So maybe not in the first 12 months per se, but it could be something we see like, in the you know, uh, after the first year, maybe after the first two years where it's something massive, like say invasions coming back to, to Halo, um, a, a Arbiter campaign where you're playing as the Arbiter, uh, um, you know, doing skirmishes or something. Let me, let me just cut in real quick. Cause I want to just go ahead yeah. and do this publicly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bop BRX117 cause they're being an asshole. Um, so hey, real quick, what do you guys feel about uh, a legacy multiplayer mode with like no none of the ability? Absolutely, I think that's absolutely Dude, a thing right, they right, can right, do. Right, right. Remember, this? so Clobril, Clobril talked about a year and a half to two years ago about how the whole point of the slip space engine was modularity to the maximum, mm -hmm. to the minimum, most minute detail. And he was like, This game really can be whatever you need it to be for your uh, for, for your experience. So I'm I'm sure I'm sure that we could get a very classic experience if we really wanted it. So I think the closest thing that you've seen to Infinite so far is MCC. MCC is a proven model that's doing yep. well, and Infinite is going to build off of that. Where essentially MCC has has all these games in it under one platform. Halo Infinite is a is is starting as a game, but then will become something where. Uh, like, like for instance, it could be something that, like you said, had to do with maybe, uh, you know, a Marine's point of view on Zeta Halo or on Reach. Um, it could be, you know, what's interesting, speaking of Reach, is that we've seen a lot of stuff regarding Reach, right? But we've heard nothing about it regarding any of the oh. actual marketing for Infinite. Um, and I'm starting to think that there might be more to reach than we think. However, yep. Yep. Uh, I think I think that uh, I think there's going to be a bunch of callbacks. I think the D DLCs are are going to be focused on hey, these are places you you have been before uh, that we're going to be going back to or these are places that that are well known within the Halo universe, um, but not so not so lore based that you have to go read a book like Halo Five. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the DLC content is going to be focused just on traditional, um, you know, Halo content that everyone's relatively aware of. However, have you guys ever thought about this? That the actual campaign itself is essentially, since it's a spiritual reboot, what if we took that very literally, right? And essentially, the campaign is almost just like halo ce not in the sense of everything's duplicated but the concepts are essentially halo ce just redone because so well, that's literally the infinity uh, could excuse be the me i just like to make a statement we're at 67 <laughs> likes on my stream and i'm gonna need this to get to uh 69 so i can screen cap it and put it on twitter uh, <laughs> please deliver no but so so <laughs> to 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 build upon that point though what i'm saying is Literally, we started out in space in CE, right? And we took a drop pod that landed us on the ring, right? Same thing is with Chief jumping out the back, right? At whatever it was in that opening cutscene. But if it's very similar in the sense where Pilot and Chief just, you know, he jumps out or maybe there's like a Guardian that blasts like an energy something and pushes Chief back into the Pelican and they crash on the ring or something, you know? What if certain concepts like that all throughout the campaign, hint back to CE. I think we're in store for something like that. I agree. personally. You know, I yeah, just thought well, about. Infinite. 
Go ahead, go ahead. Didn't you just make a video about that with Ghost there? That's true. That's Wait, true. Did, yeah. yeah, actually, uh, I'll, I'll yeah, link that. Yeah, pretty much, the, yeah. Uh, I'll link that in chat real quick. Or, uh, Footed, if you want to link that in chat, yeah. I'll uh, give you a mod and we'll make sure that people can, can click on that uh, and watch that after this. Um, so Halo, Halo right, Infinite we're gonna take is another question here. selling cartographer. We're going to yeah. take another question here. Does anybody have a question? Do you think Joseph Staten is going to lead the presentation on Halo Infinite this year? 100. Do, uh, say, I, okay, I'm not going to say he is. I think he should. I think he absolutely should. I don't know what 343 plans. I have a feeling they might have Bonnie Ross come out and be like, I love Halo and I care about uh, it a lot. Hello, how are you? And then uh, maybe they'll have him come out. But yeah. I think, uh, so. I think he's going to come out. I hope so. Jerry. I think this out. entire thing is about catering to Halo fans. Sorry, absolutely. Well, that I mean, that's what and, Jeff um, saying, yeah. dude. Yeah, no, that and Dross. I mean, look at the content updates they've done for um, Halo Infinite. Has she been in any of them? No, I don't think it's, so. It's been I Joseph. think she might have. It's been Joseph, right? What? Oh, with the Inside Infinites? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, she hasn't well, talked at all about it. Yeah, but Joseph's in them. Well, that's because yeah, she's better. she's the the she's the leader of three four three, not the leader of Halo Infinite. That's I'm trying to remember who is. Oh well, yeah, but you think right she should be in front of it or something? I, I no, I get what you're saying. All right, let, let's look for another question here. Uh, let's look on Halo followers. Are you worried about the microtransactions? Um. Ooh. See, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm worried about them as much as I'm worried about them in any other game. Uh, yeah, I, I think that there's going to be a very jarring reaction from the community when we initially kind of see what that microtransaction scheme looks like, and I think that it's going to be a bit unfounded considering, you know, Halo has not been on the market in terms of like a main entry for six years now. A lot has happened mm -hmm. in the industry since 2015 where we've seen monetization schemes evolve and evolve and evolve. And, you know, loot boxes were still a thing when Halo 5 was out. And when's the last time that, like, games did loot boxes and it didn't get them lombasted and, and thrown through the ringer, you know? Well, well so, yeah, got to put an end to that with yeah, other stuff. They put but, um, the yeah. no, spe front too. Speaking <laughs> of uh, monetization, though, you know, there is a debate right now on based on a rumor, but what about red versus blue and armor coding? You know, that's a, that's a yeah. rumor debate right now. I think I mean, it's you pretty much. You did a video on it. I yeah. think you got. Well, I mean, when when Clobril is starting to set expectations, I'm telling you guys, Clobril's on the payroll. I'm telling you, he's on the payroll. I think he's yeah, on he's Microsoft's payroll. Um, you think? That, oh wow. I do. No, I legitimately do. Look at if you look at his Twitter, he never says anything unflattering towards Microsoft, and he has a very Microsofty message whenever he talks about stuff. And Dude, that I think it makes crazy. perfect sense. To have someone like him float concepts and he, he dropped easily like, walk back you know he dropped this image on uh i don't know if it's on your stream jerry sunder uh but it's on my stream this yeah, where the yeah. four, you know the squad of the four yeah. sprints we've seen this yeah week. We, we don't know uh, that was released that from. in 4k yeah unless he made that like in blender or something like what it had it's so weird so yeah. so the thing uh, is let me let me just, and just, just real never quick i'm gonna let you go in a second alex uh just real quick i want to see in chat um, I want to see a show of hands. Yes or no? Do you think that they're going to remove Red versus Blue in Halo Infinite? Go ahead, Alex. So, uh, <clears throat> I think, I think yes, because n the the general concept of like the nostalgic elements of Halo, although that's returning, they're going to want to modernize this game to the point where people that come from Apex and Fortnite and whatnot can experience this and be like. What's this red versus blue stuff, right? Like, why can't I just have my full-on customization and colors in-game? Why can't it just be, like, a blue name tag above my, uh, or my friend's names, right? Mm -hmm. And then for enemies, it's just red. That's what I think Infinite will go down the route of, where it's essentially saying, hey, more freedom, more choice, uh, less restriction, less friction. Let's get rid of the things that don't make the player feel as if they are that Spartan, right? And let's just let's just eliminate it little by little. Mm. Instead, what we can do is we could turn simple elements of, um, you know, if it was a thing, maybe in like core, right? Like in hardcore or whatever, uh, where certain elements of your armor is red, right? Like your arm or your leg or something, just to be able to identify that that individual is blue or red. But I I, I think the total blue and red is gone personally. I think that went with the full-on color customization stuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's it's all about all the time you being able to customize your Spartan and literally look at the marketing for Infinite. 
they say step inside, become the Spartan, right? Like that's what this game's about. They're gonna they're gonna push as much customization as possible and immersive experience as possible in multiplayer and campaign to let the player feel at all times that they're unique. You know? Yeah, I, I agree with that. So I think I don't know if you guys remember this as well, back back in Halo Reach, um, with how good that game's customization was, you only were able to see your actual Spartan in infection. Mm-hmm. Um fuck it, actually it was just wait, it was infection. Uh <laughs> Free for all. Um, I think it was only two or three modes. I, might be I mean, it was really just anything that's not team based. No, the you campaign know? Literally. Literally. It's not team based. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, campaign. So, yeah. But uh, one of the things with Infinite that they're going to be really trying to push home is the play customization, like Alex was saying. So, removing the red versus blue aspect and element will allow um, for plenty of room for player customization. So, people will be jumping into games and seeing that that their actual look the way they intended it to be right every single game so that's and also if, if people pay money uh, they've got to, got to remember this if people are paying money to get a a armor coating skin whatever it is they're going to want to you know rock that and show that off every single time they jump into a game so imagine you bought like a purple skin i, I don't even know if this is going to still happen after the backlash it had but imagine you do get like a purple skin and uh, you jump into a red first, like a, a team slayer game, and your your Spartan suddenly red. <laughs> um, it's you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's kind of like in in it, it's frustrating for a lot of people actually because you yeah. you spend so much time, and if you're making a focus on customization, what the hell's the point of of it? I, I want to actually real, real quick before I get start talking about this too much. I want to say uh, I monitored my chat. Oddly enough. I monitored both chats. My chat seems to overwhelmingly think red versus blue is going away. Ron, your chat seems to be about tied. Just about tied. They think that they're tied, tied with no or yes. Yeah. Oh, they're tied. Oh, yeah, yeah. well, I haven't... Have you talked about it? Because I've I barely talked about it, let alone... That Maybe make that would make sense, focus. yeah. I, I've yeah, said I it a as video like about a it, throwaway. talking all about it with uh, Danny GG. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, I'm going to be shameless here and say that, if you no. guys are uh, if you guys are enjoying the content, you should hit the sub button on both of these channels. You should also yes. subscribe to Inter- Infinite Forges and Nethalies and Footed Ghosts. Yeah, uh, guys, whoever's watching on Halo Follower, go subscribe to Jairus Under and Infinite Forges and Neth Isles and Footed Ghosts. Yeah, I it's should really probably put up all their to unsubscribe YouTubes. from Ron too. Also, yes, no, I'm you can go, no, <laughs> no, go, check, go check out these guys because they're super underrated. They all have very unique content. Oh, and uh, I appreciate yeah. it, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> I mean, Absolutely. here's here's I'm gonna take a second though. Once now that we're talking about this specifically with with my content here for all the people, well, we got like over a thousand people watching. I think right or like eight hundred or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so for all of you guys, when Infinite drops. Right, I think one of the best parts of this community is how creative the community is. Oh, right? you're a, you're one of the best examples of that, man. You are one of the best examples of that. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, well, I appreciate it, but and but the thing is, there's so many people out there that have yet to, ex you know, experience what the Forge is going to be like. Because Halo 5's Forge was great. It was a little too, um, it, it was hard for many people to to grasp it, right? And I think. Moving forward, it's not going to become easier, but I want to encourage people that if you're out there and, you're, and you do make Forge maps and you like that type of stuff, if, you're, if you want to be like a content creator of any, you know, any kind, just be creative. But specifically when it comes to Forge, I want to encourage you guys to just get in it and practice and so that when Infinite does drop, we could all have crazy game nights. I could showcase your stuff. Yeah. Like that's, that's stuff I look Ooh. forward to, you know? Um, I think that would be... Yeah a fun fun thing to do absolutely Pivoting i would like to created this community you know so it, it, depending on how good the forge is i would like to talk to you about that at some point infinite because uh absolutely i would i maybe throw in a competition or hosting something Hell would be really fun yeah, um, yeah chip, i think so. i really love modding Pivoting i love that idea I'm, i love I'd, that idea i'd love this conversation and i don't want to sound like i'm trying to cut it off i'm just trying to focus on questions uh, right now you're cutting Sorry. it off Jared. i'm cutting it off i no, <laughs> screw the community i'm actually a villain this is my joker origin story um chip asks uh do you think that halo infinite will be canceled on xbox one or severely downgraded for the platform it's coming i think I, oh it's definitely coming to xbox one there's no yeah. there's no shot that it doesn't it's gonna look like 
<laughs> well, how do you know that, man? I, I think that I think it I might. I, I think it's just going to be scaled down a lot. Well, that's but the also thing, think though, that so they're going to drop support after two years or after a year. Yeah, I see that. I for sure see that happening. I think it's probably going to have resolution scaling. Uh, it's going to probably be 1080p with resolution scale, a dynamic resolution scaling, and probably drop down to 500p easily. This could be you could be looking at a 480p game in 2021. Mm. No joke. Because when you're putting it on hardware, okay. So let me let me, let me I want to put something into perspective real quick. The Xbox One was dated when it came out. The CPU yeah. that's in the Xbox One, and I think the PS4 too, or maybe the PS4 does it. I think the C, the PS4 might it's have a better CPU. Better. Um, the the CPU family that is in the Xbox One came out in 2011. That family came out in 2011, which means it was already uh. being internally produced in 2010, which means that Halo Infinite is being developed for an 11-year-old CPU, which is uh. insane. <laughs> Look, you know what? Speaking of that, and I haven't really talked much about it, I haven't seen many people talk about it, but, like, seriously, I hope that the Xbox Series X is going to take full advantage of... I mean, how can you build... I don't know how it works on a technical level, but, like... Jeez, that that's I hate that. I hate hearing that. It makes me cringe. Just, just that it's taking full that it's advantage of back for that console. I know, dude. It's nuts. And then I hope that it's like you know, like a hard port. You know, like a hard different versions. You know. Yeah. Uh, see. To okay. Optimize here's the, the thing. Xbox One, but to take full advantage I was, of. It. I was yeah, talking yeah, to somebody about hard. this, and they were like, "I'm just concerned that Halo Infinite's not going to be like it's going to be really bad because it's being made for the Xbox One." The problem is, we don't know how scalable that the hardware is. At the end of the day, we have no earthly idea what this hardware is capable of uh, with, with regards to the engine. For all we know, they could have a complexity slider for the CPU, the, the, the CPU intensity where the AI is capable of doing different things and capable of thinking more critically depending on what this slider is set to. It could even be future-proofed in that sense. I, we just I'm don't pretty know. Sure, I'm pretty sure that Infinite is going to look incredible. Yeah. I'm not trying to just be a shill here. But I really do think that this game, is, <laughs> this game is going to be, it's going to be a gorgeous game. And, and the reality is, like I said before, I'll, I'll say this over and over and over again. People are going to see the reveals. People are going to see the content. People are going to say whatever they want to say. But this is, I'll stand true to this, right? And we, we can come back to this later on. You guys could clip this and whatnot. Throw it in my face if I'm wrong. But the this game will be the closest thing to what actually feels like Halo than we've got in the past 10 years. I agree. And, I mean, since and, Reach, I think. Yeah, and, and yeah. honest to God. I honest agree. to God. Infinite is going to be the thing that, regardless if it's modernized or whatever, this is going back to the roots in you many know, ways people do not expect. Funny you mentioned that. And I it's going to be great. I was great. talking to someone on Twitter today who was saying, we just need to be, we need to make sure we have expectations. Don't like, let yourself get disappointed. Don't get too hyped about it. I, I was, I was saying, yeah, you saw that. I was, um, yeah. I, I replied to that and I was like, honestly, <laughs> this might sound crazy to a lot of people, but just the fact that the art style is so classic gets me most of the way, you know, that does the most yeah. of it for me. That it really does. The fact, cause I need Halo to look like Halo and I, unpopular yeah. opinion i don't think it's looked like halo for about 10 years now <laughs> agreed let's get I another question yeah, i don't know why or yeah. what they did with halo but this is <laughs> a really cool blend between halo reach and i feel like halo 3 and it's kind of jarring to see anything look like halo 3 in halo honestly well, it's, it's nowadays. old and new you know yeah i've got yeah. like everyone in your chat uh ron saying that i'm a 343 fanboy guys uh not it's not that i'm a 343 fanboy it's just that from a marketing perspective if a company screws up for the third time like this or they go out they they go out yeah. a, or fourth right they oh, they, they they if they don't get it right because i don't think they screwed up per se like they created an awesome shooter in halo 5 but it didn't feel like a halo game right yeah but when it comes to them screwing up again. I'm just looking at this thing logically, right? There are people <laughs> that have multiple six-figure jobs that are working at 343, right? That are the that, best in their industry. That, 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 that best in their the field. Best in know? their industry, yeah. yes. And the thing is, they don't want to lose that position. 
They don't want to have to go looking for other stuff. They have definitely considered <laughs> the, the fact that they want to keep their positions and be a part of this incredible thing. The people there are very passionate. I believe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I, and the thing is, it I don't I don't think they're like, hey, let's just throw this out the window and hope it passes. I really think that for this time around, they've considered fan feedback and they're like, you know what? Let's just go in this direction. Halo of course we have Halo. to modernize it. But we have to modernize it, but we have to also just go back to what it actually is. Because you know if what? not, we might not be here anymore. If I could you know? jump in here real quick, hey. uh, got me to think about something. They've spent so much time and investment <laughs> shaking out Halo fans. Like Halo 4 really shook out a lot of people uh, that didn't, you know, leave Halo with Halo Reach. But, you know, Halo Reach was like, all right, Bungie's made so many successes. They... They, you know, they kind of took an L on Reach. I don't know if you guys remember, but it's Reach was not well received yeah, at first. It, it really was, was not. It was kind of a disaster, actually. But somehow it's just uh, history has it's somehow beloved. looked on it very kindly, even though yeah, it's like now the almost most as good as unfunny, mo unfun mo <laughs> To be fair, but, but I think three four three fixed Reach. Yeah, God. they did. Yeah, they spent well, all they this did, time. They did everything they could to fix Reach. <laughs> yeah, they spent all this time shaking out Halo fans uh, with Halo yeah. four and five, and then with all these weird releases and all these big failures like MCC's launch and stuff. I mean, really, the morale has been low until recent, like this past year. But now they're like, "Crap, we've lost." so many different people and now they've got this completely new audience of people that actually enjoy halo uh like halo 5 that's actually my sister she does she knows nothing about halo but she loves halo 5 that's her favorite uh, halo <laughs> and most people that don't haven't played halo uh you know don't have nostalgia kind of tricking their minds they're like yeah, oh my god yeah, halo yeah. 5 is the best because they're probably looking at it objectively in a way um at least from the other side i guess but I wonder what's going to happen with multiplayer tomorrow. Who are they? Real, who are they appealing to this time? Because they admitted that they were basically copying other games with Halo Four, um, and then Halo Five. I, I don't know what Halo Five was. Uh, I, I think know. it's I think it's Halo fans. To be honest with you, I think it's basically saying, "Hey guys, um, twenty years of Halo is coming up, right? Let's create a reveal that feels very similar to Halo CE." But the thing is, in like the classic games, make it modern, make it appealing to the to the demographic of gamers right now, right? The general market, but really point it towards Halo fans and say, "Hey, listen, we're we're listening to you. Please let us just, 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 just uh, forgive us." You know what I mean? It's it for the general consensus, right? I think that's what it really comes down to: is that they just want to do something right. I think they are listening to fans. That's not to say that this game is going to be perfect. I think it's going to have a lot of issues, just like anything, right? But the sure. overall concept of the game will be geared directly towards mm -hmm. Halo fans for the first time in 10 years. Okay. I believe that. I so believe that. Let's take another question here. Verum117 says, do you think Halo Infinite will bring back Halo into the map? Like, in the popularity? Like, is it going to be back in the zeitgeist for gaming? I'll say, I'll say this one. I, I, think, I think yes. I think with the free to play multiplayer, if everything's been designed well, you know, the, the cheat codes and all that sort of stuff, um, uh, well, sorry, cheat prevention and all that sort of stuff is, is done well, I, I think so. I think if the core multiplayer is fun, exciting, feels like Halo, uh, I do think it will be successful. I think it will be far more successful than Halo 5's multiplayer, even though that game was actually quite successful in its own right. Like, I, I don't know if you guys remember when it released um, yeah, but there was obviously a lot of negativity but the multiplayer was still quite quite good and fun even though it didn't you know look like a halo game so halo for this multiplayer is probably going to look a lot closer to, yeah. what, to what a halo game looks like right um of course it's going to be more geared towards halo 5 um in, in a sense but like like alex was saying there will be elements from halo 3 like all the equipment as long as the equipment though is balanced and it's it's an equal you know, playing field for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be most important, I think, to get those Halo Three fans thinking, "Shit, uh, that kind of looks like the game I used to play when I was younger." You know, so for sure, twice as those. So, Inigo Arroyo says they said we're listening to you with Halo Four, Halo MCC, Halo Five, Spartan Strike, etc. No more stupid excuses. Now, I want to. I understand being jaded with 343 and all of these individual spinoff titles, and I understand thinking they're not listening to you, but. 343's approach this time to proving that they're listening to us has not been to write some lengthy write-up about how they're they're listening or anything like that. 
the very first thing we saw of Halo Infinite was the slip space engine reveal. And we know that they know what Halo is now because the majority of people that know Halo or played Halo or have even, maybe even th that haven't played Halo, that know roughly about um, what Halo is, knew it was a Halo trailer before a Spartan was on the screen, the screen before a gun was Just on the, the screen. Just from the music, dude. Yes. Just from the Just music. Just the music and the visuals alone, they knew. Because what 343 proved in that trailer was that they knew what makes Halo, Halo. So again, I yeah, understand I am not this worried about criticism. The cut yeah, for sure. I'm not worried about the story at all, honestly. I mean, no, the story might I. have hiccups a little bit, but like the 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 feeling and the soulfulness it's is there. there. We already the know characters it's there. are going to yeah. be likable. <laughs> I think. The, the, right. I did a I did a poll, and it was like 98 or 99 percent of people already think the pilot like they like the pilot more than Locke. And Locke you know, has I, had an entire movie oh, about him, I an entire a, game about him. Yeah, yeah. Tons of I, side material. Why is that? And because, it's because it's because empathy. he's been characterized Motivation. better in two minutes. Jairus, Jairus, you have to let him talk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun. I like this. This is fun. Uh, okay. They, they have. <laughs> Sorry. They have like. Well, I mean, there's there's a few key things in storytelling that you need to do to make characters likable. But one of the easy ones is is that uh they've been abandoned or that they they're a loss so mm -hmm. like you feel sorry for someone that shipwrecked uh for example like the pilot he he has his family and like we didn't even know what this we still don't know what this guy's name is absolutely um, and yeah. don't say bro hammer um <laughs> and <laughs> but uh it's it's but we still care about him more than Locke, and it's because basically we see him and his family he's lost and we can all relate to that not being your loved ones mm -hmm. at some point especially this last year um sure. it was kind of a foreshadowing to everything but essentially uh, i and, and yeah i mean that's gonna hit home i think with 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 what's been going on in the world and then seeing that in the game you know but can anyway, I, that's can <laughs> i add to what you were saying here yeah because one of the big things that that people may be overlooking about why the pilot even exists is because you know, you've got Cortana or whatnot in the beginning, uh, essentially not going to be a part of your whole experience, right? I mean, she's the, I don't know if she's still the big bad or whatever, but the, the pilot is there to bring out a level of humanity in chief. That's why he exists. That's why they coexist together. For sure. Yeah. You know? And it's that's, almost, that's yeah. something that's very promising because that shows you right off rip that there's a level of emotion in this game that did not exist before. My USB makes me want to scream. I gotta pull on some heartstrings with, with Bro Hammer, I reckon. For sure. Let's, uh, yeah. let's get another question here. Looking right now. People are probably just wondering when I'm, I'm like moving elements around. I'm yeah, like, I was about to say. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like trying to make it look pretty. Yo, I should this, is, this have stream is popping off. Look at that. Yeah, Almost no, it is. What are we at? 7, 765 on, on, on his and 120 on his. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah almost, dude. Sure it would have really been a thousand if I, if I, if I streamed or something. <laughs> if you guys are just tuning in, um, we're uh, this E three has not happened yet, so don't get too hyped. But we are about sixteen hours something out like that from yeah. the actual real taking place tomorrow. I don't know what you guys are doing, what these guys are doing, but um, definitely go check them out. Uh, they all have very cool content. If you just joined us, I did a shout, a shout out early for everyone, but yeah, I just feel. <laughs> I feel pressure to give you guys a shout out because my no, stream is um, you, know, yeah, you don't check out these guys. Do anything. Awesome. <laughs> and I don't know what you guys are doing tomorrow. I'm probably going to be doing something similar like this tomorrow. Um, or yeah, should we I resend questions well. when you miss them? Yeah, don't don't worry about it. You can resend questions if you need to. Yeah, but the thing is, all of us are going to be streaming tomorrow. I think, right? Because <laughs> yeah. I know I have a yeah, watch yeah, party. Um, do we? Okay, yeah. so I mean, if we're if we're all going to be streaming tomorrow, do we want to? It might be something like this. Yeah, I was going to say, do we want to discuss the postmortem? If you want to host cool, it, go right, right ahead. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. I've actually, I don't think I've ever done E3 with anyone else. Dude, like, it'd be fun. I've been it would be fun. Halo. So, yeah, it would be really cool. This is like yeah. my 10th. We should talk about it. So, hold on a second. As soon as we cut this, if, dude, get a thumbnail, slap it up, and get people hyped. Just set up a premiere. <laughs> so, so, oh, so, 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 here's the thing. Maybe what we do is we essentially we start like an hour before or like 30 minutes before. And kind of get let everyone get in, right? Maybe we play a game or something like that. And then from there, we do basically mute all our mics, watch the yeah. reveal, and then just talk about it after. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, so I mean, I'm already I, I already plan to have a stream an hour and a half before I'm going live. 
before an yeah, hour and a half before, like, and yeah. then just okay. Probably gonna be. So live we'll just do like it five, after. We'll hours. just do it after. Yeah, okay. that's fine. I'm probably gonna stay live <laughs> if you don't mind throughout the duration, but. Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, sweet. I don't know if people want to hear too much. Actually, um, we can talk about this. No, no, no. Well, yeah, I mean, let's we're, go back to we, we're over something. the time where we were, we said we were even going to go anyway. Uh, real oh. quick, what I was, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, should we? My here's a question. We're all here for Halo, right? We're all we're tomorrow. The whole the whole shebang is for Halo. What do you guys think about after the Halo segment is over, unmuting and just like chatting over what's happening after? We even deafen here and there if we need to. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna let everyone on my stream watch the pure stream. I'm just gonna mirror Xboxes, but on the sidelines, I was gonna be like reacting to it. Okay, That'd right. be fun if y'all wanted to react together. Yeah, that it. sounds like fun, right? That'd be cool. I mean, that's yeah. I'm totally one that wants to do that. Yep. Sounds like a plan. What does everyone think in chat? Type yes and type yes or no if you want to see that. That would be really fun because yeah, I don't think I've always seen. There's so many uh, reaction videos to like you know reveals during this time, but I don't think I've ever we'll, really we'll, seen we have many to, group we'll, react together. We'll 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 talk about it off stream here. <laughs> but yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. Like the thing is, do you guys want to jump into campaign real quick though? It's because there have been people asking about that. Oh, you've been talking about it. Unless you want to end. <laughs> no, no, no. I was actually going to ask you guys how, uh, if you guys want to go for another, maybe go till seven thirty, another half hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just warming up because I spent the first twenty five minutes setting my stream up because I'm I procrastinate until the last uh, second. Let's and see then... if we got any questions. Oh, lots of yes. Uh, it's a resounding yes. Everyone's saying yes. Okay. So tomorrow we're gonna learn about armor coatings. Right. Probably. We're going to learn. Yeah, yeah, I made a video yeah. talking about all the things that we're, we're definitely going to figure out. So if this, if these things like ring any bells for y'all, just stop me. But like armor coatings, uh, the big team battle 2.0, is that going to incorporate invasion or battle royale, uh, Whoa. sandbox items placement, how that, like, what is the loadouts going to look like if there are loadouts, you know, um, uh, I think, VR I think, starts, Sean I think. VR starts. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sean actually was trying was trying to was, was saying he wanted to pull me in for a little I don't know if I should be talking about that, but whatever. He wanted to pull me in for like a little post mortem thing after. To talk oh, about it. Maybe okay. we maybe we can wrap him into the whole thing after the, the whole Xbox event is said and done. Yeah. Yeah, we'll he's always that, yeah. So, uh, um I was definitely gonna like invade his stream and vice versa. So Verum one one seven at Verum, you got good questions. Verum asks, Do you guys want the flood to return? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. absolutely dude okay 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 real big thing though um flood is confirmed to be on zeta halo locked up in test tubes basically oh, 100%, test yeah tubes. obviously the ring is broken right so there's a chance hmm. with all these you know hex walls sticking out obviously this ring is massively damaged kind of a good set up for flood escaping right i mean flood can I don't live in outer space so... i just think it's a guarantee yeah, yeah, I mean, like the I mean, video, the flood, the flood have probably been unleashed at some. So let me level. let me let me just bring up one thing real quick. When they say spiritual reboot, how do you describe Halo as a spiritual reboot? What enemies come to mind? What gameplay comes to mind? What enemies come to mind? <laughs> you know, the thing is, yeah, yeah. Uh, the flood are definitely coming back in one way or another. The only thing is that you could debate that it's a rated T game, so. How could well, that's the flood come hard. back like that? Well, it's going to be a T game, and the thing is, uh, <laughs> I feel like it is. <laughs> you know, and yeah, I agree, I agree. Yeah. and the thing uh, is, um, it's it, it's because it's trying to appeal to a larger demographic. T and M, not, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the bottom line is, you saw blood. As long as it's blue, purple, pink, whatever, right? I think for the Flood, it's going to be very similar to what you saw in Halo Wars 2, mm -hmm. where yep. you have this yellow, glowy substance to yeah. it, right? That's how the Flood will return. Uh, they may explode or whatever, but I, I think it's going to be along those lines. And, and I definitely see the Flood returning, because there's, so there's so many opportunities for it, and they would never promote it if they actually wasn't there, because they well, would want to go about it the same route as Halo CE, I think. Speaking of the flood in Halo CE, so we know the flood would introduce in CE in that, like, you know, camcorder footage. So how do you think it's going to work in Infinite? Like, do you think they're going to copy that scene? It'll be almost a one-for-one, one, or how do you think that's going to work? Uh, I think it'll I be very it's... similar to atmosphere. Like, I reckon you'll go into this, um, you'll be, like, in this swampy area, I reckon. Because I reckon they're going to set up in a very similar way. Yeah. Um, 
And I think that would be quite good as well because a lot of people, they'll imagine just walking into like this swampy area, right, where you have to go to this facility. And then suddenly you hear this really soft ambience, or it's like this ambient track that plays. And you're just like, hang on, what the was going on? And then you go inside this facility, you start seeing bits of storytelling. You see banished, um, scattered around, blood, um, or hopefully blood. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think that. I don't, no, I don't know. But... Um, Let's, yeah. let's, uh, let's 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 move on to another question here. Um, Jarrah Isra asks, "Why was everyone happy with the advanced movement in Doom, but everyone are happy or mad with Halo Five? I want to actually personally acknowledge this one because I I think there's a pretty oh. easy case to be made for that. There is a, the major problem that classic Halo fans, Halo One through Three fans, have with things like Reach and Four and Five is something called uh, player agency." What player agency is, is it's the ability to always be in control of your situation. When there is an animation when you come out of sprint where you can't shoot during this period of time, or, you know, say you're sliding and for a moment you can't shoot or anything like that, you don't have agency in that moment. So the problem yeah. that people have with mm -hmm. Halo, and it got better over the years, it's pretty decent in Halo 5 actually. Problem with Reach, the problem with 4, and the problem with 5 was that they put a ton of things in the game that reduced player agency and took control out of your hands for too long of periods of time there are even things that the classic halo games do that did that so the reason why people didn't like it in halo 5 with advanced movement is because that came with a lot of the movement features spartan charging whether you if you didn't connect you were dead in the water for a moment because you got this weird third person animation uh clamber wasn't super bad but it it, it was a little bit frustrating that instead of just jumping and crouching onto something and designing it to be jumped and crouched onto, you had to do an animation where you were not in control. So the fact right. that Halo Infinite seems to have essentially reduced those animations to the absolute, absolute minimum, um, it's, it, it's good. It, honestly, That's why people are concerned. That's aren't one concerned. aspect of it, but like what annoys me about Halo 5's gameplay is that really there's no more map control and that was a whole underlying element of strategy in the original halo games yeah. that bungie was very very careful that's yeah that has a lot to do with advanced mobility too because why why go for the rocket launcher when you can insta kill somebody with a spartan charge to the back or you could ground pound them and just turn them into paste you know oh. well it's also okay. how you can climb up to other areas of the map or jump thruster and okay, so clamber you know I like the things like those Sorry, yeah, all sorry, the stuff here. But yeah, no, you can go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just sorry, man. Yeah, I just want to touch on that. So I think um some maps do that actually quite well in Halo 5, where I think they do incorporate the playoff movement and all that sort of stuff and, and yeah. jumps and all that sort of stuff really well. However, um, like you were saying, there's a lot of maps um that, you know, don't have that and it's it's one thing where a lot of people they had issues with Halo 5's multiplayer and the maps and the maps particularly where um there was no, how can I say it? Like you said, Halo Three, there were power positions on maps, places of um, where if you if, if a team was holding, say, top mid, right, it would absolutely matter. It would absolutely, you know, be vital for the team winning. However, in Halo Five, you can swarm a team that's top mid. You can shoot them from, you know, bottom mid to to to, to get control. So I do think it's quite balanced in, in that aspect where um, if, if you're if your team's not good per se, and you can't get like power positions and like top mid control, you can still kind of play well and, and, and play good. Um, and I think what 3 for 3 were trying to do with Halo 5's multiplayer, they even said this in the Vidox, they were trying to have an experience where everyone had an equal footing uh, from the get go. So, and obviously that backfired because a lot of people, like as, as you guys know, when Halo 5, it was when Halo 5 was 12 months old, it was very hard for new players to just jump into the game um, and experience the multiplayer because they'd get dominated because Absolutely. people who had been playing it for that, for that while, for that long time, right, had knowledge of the maps, knowledge of how to use the movement correctly. Mm. So, you know, that's why I think for Halo Infinite, it needs to be a lot, uh, a lot less dialed down or a lot more dialed down, sorry, where it is, you know, it's still obviously evidently fast and not like Halo 3, but yeah. it still pulls those elements. To, to keep, keep well, it the thing period. is, in July, I think we saw the base movement. I think they showed that. You'll have clamber, you'll have slide, yeah. you'll have sprint, right? Yeah. I think that's going to be apparent in the game. I do believe thrust 
I do believe ground pound. I do believe all those other elements are gone and they're going to be replaced by equipment. So essentially, you're going to have essentially like a Halo 3 with sprint, clamber, and climb, you know, or clamber and slide, and yeah. uh, the Halo 3 equipment coming back. It, it's going to be a, it's going to be a mix of old and new. You just look at every element of Halo Infinite. That's literally if you want to if you want to get a baseline idea of what this game is, that's what it is, you know, in every aspect. But I do believe we saw all the base movement mechanics in July. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I think so. I don't think there was so, any Who do you guys think the Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. No, 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 you're good. Go no, man, good. Oh, it's kind of off topic off topic. Well, what's up? Say it. Go oh, for it. Go who for do it. you guys think the harbinger is? Like, do you think we're gonna get any legitimate campaign answers tomorrow, or just more? I thought it's like, yeah. like a brief <laughs> teaser at best. But I, I, I think <laughs> it's Cortana. I want it to be the Reaper didact concept from Halo Five. I just that's what I want. I'm going with Reaper. Mm. Okay, that, that, that would be pretty cool. I, and, and the but... reason I'm going with that with Shadows of Reach, it doesn't sound like they're working together as of yet, but maybe. By the way, why are the banished on Zeta? What are they looking for? Uh, they said yeah. it in that thing. They were tro hoping to take control of the ring in that little audio thing yeah. we got last year. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. What, what reason? Exactly. I mean, it's a what's, whole ass Halo for the ring. It seems, pretty, it seems pretty. Uh, seems like a big dick move to have a whole ring to yourself. <laughs> no, I think I think it's it's deeper than that. We're essentially. No, I agree. I mean, you you can yeah. look at like Shadows of Reach, and they they kind of make it clear that there's some greater thing going on that we don't know about. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, what I think it could be is a couple things. Where essentially, you know how most Halo games are about destroying the ring? Mm -hmm. This is almost like a reverse, where it's destroyed, oh. and maybe what you have to do is fix it. You know See, what I'm curious I, about? I think, oh, it's, yeah. I think it's the opposite of, of it in a different way. I think maybe that the enemies are trying to repair the ring. Because I'm thinking what might have happened is that the control room was destroyed. Mm -hmm. So to stop it from firing. So... I got a really cool idea I've been talking about for a few years now, but basically it's like Halo 1 in reverse. Like our whole yeah, yeah. purpose in the Halo games was to stop Halo from firing, but what if it in Halo Infinite is actually that's what we we're trying to do? Um, and that could be involved uh, with like the logic plague on Cortana and the flood overtaking the galaxy again. And sure. ironically, if we come full circle and then we're like, crap, we need to fire the halo ring. I thought that I always thought that was like kind of a cool twist on the, yeah, that'd be a good yeah, way I to mean, end the halo in order to save humanity and kill the flood. I mean, these halo rings were built for that purpose. And if, I mean, it would be kind of cool to actually use them for what they're meant what to be used, used for and to, to even be, fire yeah, it yeah, like yeah. in a, in a uh, quick play event or something, or mm -hmm. I don't know. Just yeah, I mean, that'll be, that'll be <laughs> fine. Just give me a warthog run at the end though. Yo, so, oh my god, why is the ending suck so much in like Halo 4 yeah. and 5? Yo, like it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. crawling. There's so much uh, crawling. What about the I, freaking Warthog runs? Guys, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine a Warthog run that takes inspiration from Halo 3 Ooh. with the plates that are blowing yeah. up, right? Imagine oh, yeah. that. With but the you're in a, you, moving yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're in a valley, oh, yeah. and in the valley, essentially the mountains and the landscape around you, you have to maneuver it because it's shooting up into space. It's dismantling in front of you. That would be so sick, <laughs> oh, dude. Man. That would be awesome. Like, I, I, have y'all seen the uh, calendar pictures? That, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, pretty awesome. That. Um, yeah, he uh, he found. So there's there's some really cool things that I don't know if y'all want to talk about, but oh yeah, the thing that really stuck out to me one of the screenshots was how the ring was actually broken in two places. Did y'all see that? I'm trying to think which one that was. Uh, also, did you notice that in concept art? Oh Here, yes. If, go go to the images real quick because I'm gonna point something out that might be relative or not. I might be thinking too deep into it, but we've only seen that the ring is broken in one part, right? Then we see that it's broken in like a quarter of the ring is falling off, right? That's what we saw. So zoom in on this real quick. Zoom in on the one where it's the biggest one to the left. Yeah. Okay. Well, whenever you can do it. Yeah. No, I'm um, looking at it. Yeah, there's well, only like a 20 no, second it's, delay it's, on YouTube. It's, 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 not, oh, no. it's not in Oh, it's not in this one. But the thing is anyway, uh there's there's one where basically you could see these rings, right? 
the three rings that are just on the ground. Maybe it's right behind Chief in this one, but there's one image where one ring is totally intact, the other one is partly broken, and then the other one is a quarter of the ring is completely blown off, right? So all these like three little rings that are on the ground may be showing just what happens to the ring over the course of Infinite's campaign. I find that to be kind of interesting. <laughs> you know, it could be hinting at that. Yeah, but, um, I'm curious about the planet in the background and that spaceship too. And also Hex, mm -hmm. Hex wall, primary, primary Hex wall environments too. Like um, on the, like one that I think is February or whatever on the very top, there's that really cool environment with just Hex walls. And then there's like a war. That's exactly yeah, why I, I built my it. environment that way. I built it off of that. The one that I sent you guys in chat. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I feel like you probably appreciate that the most, Infinite. Um, oh, I'm yeah. curious how they're gonna make the hex walls look. They will look not the best last year, so uh, I wonder how they're well, gonna. Well, one of the screenshots yeah. shows yeah. them, and they're they're more detailed now. Yeah, There's a screenshot you can. I, I want to get in motion. They just need more bloom and shininess. Yeah, they were just so flat and terrible. They just needed to not get a bunch of ugly hexes in the game. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> no, dude, I, I think always, the hexes I, actually add a lot of fun gameplay elements to it like verticality for the uh for the grapple hook oh my god it's gonna be awesome Dude, i think that they were made to contain the grapple hook uh, oh at least yes. that's what i think sean and i were talking about a long time but that could have been like a, a grapple walk or grapple hook blocker you know throughout the map and i'm kind of concerned about that because for me I just never liked them i i always felt like they were very forced like i think or that they hooks? should have been more clumped together and the environment, in my opinion, anyway, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, we've only seen it, a small slice of it so far. Well, if there, a lot of the they, concept they can, art, the way that it looks, see, I, seems cool. There should be a lot more damage if there was a bunch of pillars pushing through the ground, right? And it's probably actually been like six months, too, since Zeta well, Halo sustained this who, damage, uh, as we've seen before. Who knows? Maybe it's, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's the way that it self-repairs it manages to, like... And where Maybe are the got... vines? I think these things would look beautiful with vines and foliage oh, growing. One of the them, new right? screenshots has like a like an overgrown section. Do you think the Ace mm. of Spades crew and Chaka? Oh my will god! Be and water, like rivers, so, kind of so, like yeah. reacting yes. to these so, walls. So, dude, in the level that I built, there's the I think that rivers can become waterfalls through hex being pushed up. You know, Ooh, that's cool. And, and maybe you manage the environment in different ways. Yeah, awesome absolutely. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, you got to think of the hexes as the they're the internal aspects of the ring, right? The internal elements of the ring. So they are being forced up. So oftentimes, what happens is right above the the hex wall. I mean, if you're in a forest, right, and the thing gets pushed up, you're going to see trees on top of it, right? It's I I think that uh I think it does make sense. Right, I think it's a super unique environment, and I believe that what we saw in July was a very like open landscape. We didn't really see much uh, similar to what was kind of shown above uh, in that complete hex environment that we were talking about or that you were showing. We didn't see much of that. We pretty much saw a valley with some hexes around. You know, mm. <laughs> we never saw them yeah. up close. We never saw hex caves, which hex caves are going to be a thing um you know yeah. we never saw you know, any 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 unique ways that these hexes could form and create really fun gameplay experiences like imagine you hook onto one hex and then you swing get to another hex right swing and then you can get across this like massive gorge just by using the hexes like yeah. it's probably going to be a lot of fun honestly do y'all want to see the return i'm this kind of off topic chopper tomorrow do you think we'll see it uh, yes, uh, I think we'll see it. Yes. I mean, it, it's been teased so much that it's pretty much. Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, answer a question. I here. think we'll. Hold on. Yeah, I think we'll right. also see. The, I think we'll see the Falcon as well. I think that's coming back. Maybe. Maybe. And do you definitely think, the Wasp. Oh, do you think Red Team up. and Spirit of Fire will make an appearance in Halo Infinite? Yes. Uh, I actually don't know. think. I think they're trying to narrow down the cast. To be honest, I, although there oh. is a lot of reason to believe that because after Halo yeah. Wars Two. Uh, spoiler alert! I mean, it's been five years. Play the game. Uh, Ander <laughs> sees a guardian at the end of. Uh, uh, and then we saw that ring at the end of Halo Five, and so there's certainly something going with the ring. There's some. There's some bigger arc in play. I think. Um, you know, what I'm saying I don't know if it's all going to 
be fleshed out in Halo Infinite. I, I could Spirit be of Fire. I'm, for sure. I'm, I'm I probably think wrong. Be, I don't know. But it I is think, a lot you know, of things that they've been setting up for a long time. Like when they, they started working the on this story, they probably were wrapping up Halo Wars 2, you know? And well, mm-hmm. well before that, actually. So, well, well before that, actually. <laughs> so, but. Kristen0009 asks, do you think that the Ace of Spades crew and Chakas will be in, on Infinite? Or in Infinite, I guess. Who? In Chakas? The Ace of Spades Chakas? crew? That's the Point of Light crew, no? With with 343 oh. on it? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. that's 343's crew, Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think that would relate to the Harbinger. Whenever we get to that section of the campaign, that's Easily, when you would see, yeah. you know, Chakas that's return. I gotta read yeah. that book. I haven't read it. I feel like a fool, but yeah. I, I I was a little I, I bit disappointed so. after Shadows um, of Reach. So I was like, a... but, I, I, um, I have a question for Infinite Go Forges, ahead. actually. If you guys don't mind me asking, what's up? I just think the Falcon's gonna return, dudes, because squad based mechanics. Yeah, but, oh, it makes perfect sense. It makes makes sense. Um, Go on. What were you gonna say? Magpie Leon asks, "How do you make your? How did you make your textures for your environment? I'd love to know for when I make more Halo stuff in UE4." How did I make the what what part of the environment? The textures for your environment. Is what um, like landscape materials and all that. Uh, essentially, oh, it's just workshop, it, it, right. I I need more specifics on it. But okay, we can textures we need to. textures for like textures for like the pillars Ooh. and all that are not final. So you know those I basically I'm using aluminum surfaces in Unreal Engine 4 for that. Uh, and then when it comes to grass and the overall environment rocks that I'm using, that all comes from uh, a pack that I downloaded from the marketplace for Unreal Engine mm. called the Kite Demo, which was basically the, um, it was like a, I don't know if it was like a photorealistic demo or something. Like, anyway, yeah, it just had us like grass assets and rocks and all that in there. So yeah. Real quick, and, and, and I actually have a question mm-hmm. relating to all this. Um, is well, we don't know this, but uh, yeah. Michael said, is the hex part of forge mode, the forge mode? And I just, oh. I was like, oh, crap. They're yeah, probably going to have hex walls and stuff For sure, in forge yeah. mode. Yeah. In infinite, you're going to have a heyday uh, with that. Oh, yeah, dude. So the thing is, um, <laughs> yeah, if you want it here, can you pull up one of those images, Ron, real quick? I, just I already it? have. Yeah, he did actually. He's on top of it. So, and just to just to oh, so people have? know, yeah. Was, so people oh, know crap. the environment okay, you're looking at that. on stream right now is an environment that Infinite Forges here, Alex, actually created. Dude's nuts. Yeah. So the thing is, I I did this today. Um, this was another environment, and one of the big things that you have to realize about like the top image right here is that you see the blue beam, right, and then you see the red sun. What I'm doing here is I'm basically, well, you covered it, but the thing is, what Sorry, I'm doing, <laughs> you're totally <laughs> fine. Uh, you, you see two different paths. So essentially, yeah, let's imagine I love the like, colors too. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. It's so like when the, the breakdown of this essentially is you can, you can choose to go wherever you want to go, right? Like that takes you to a higher point. The golden path takes you higher, but the blue path takes you straight ahead, lower into a forerunner structure. But the mystery is all there. That's what I think the infinite campaign is all yeah. going to be like about. What it's it's very know? jungly, like kind of. It's not much I line of that. sight, mm. you know. Yeah. And it's uh, there's some really cool things. I do have a question here, uh, real yeah. quick. Yeah, um, I think the pillars are going to be like that. Go on. Andrew uh, asked, uh, "Remember that unknown ship that crashed on the Halo Ring years and years before the Pillar of Autumn crash in Halo One Anniversary? What do you think will happen? Another race introduced, uh, maybe use the ring on them." Um, I actually don't know much about that. I don't know if y'all did, but do y'all know what he's talking about? I, I have a vague no knowledge of what he's talking about. It, I think it's like a completely random species that we don't know what the hell they are, but they weren't human. And we don't know what they were, just this random species. It's interesting. So That's I guess what he's asking thing. is, yeah. do you think that like another random faction could be introduced? Which I, there, was, you know, there was that one race in uh, Nightfall. Um, yeah, yeah. Albeit kind of kind of generic but still yeah, generic. um well so <laughs> another faction true. dude but, yeah I mean, so, exactly so see, here's like the thing the, right? those guys if from star trek if they're trying to recapture the flood reveal i think the best way to do that would be to actually introduce something new you know so Is here's the this thing a fan uh, boy me, circle dude. jerk right now Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so hold on. A second. Of course it is. <laughs> You're an Halo follower. Wait, wait, wait. I cover Halo Infinite Forges. Dude, honestly, <laughs> I'm trying to not like annoy everyone and be a bummer, but 
like I've already said this a few times on my channel, and I'm really just, uh, but I, I, I have my gripes. Oh, I'm just well, having you're, fun you're, in the hype. You're this valid, is the last yeah. time that we're probably going to be seeing something like this. I think we're all kind of jaded to some degree, right? Yeah. I mean, so well, I the thing is, who was like saying we're week. we're like we're rehashing content just by even doing this, which I think is a ridiculous sentiment. No, 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 to no, say. no. Hold on a second, get You got to think about it. This is going to be the game for the next ten years. We're never really going to have a hype time like this again. Yeah, exactly, fact, man. Come and, on. It, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and I like the thing is, I'm twenty eight at uh, twenty seven. I'm going to be twenty eight soon. So the thing is, like. I'm going to be almost 40 by the time Halo Infinite's life cycle is over. I need this game to do well, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're turning into so, boomers, dude. So, like, so like I, don't, I don't want to... Um, I'm not going to put a damper on this. I think the people over there are smart. Like I said, if they're going to try to evolve this thing again and again and again, there are shareholders behind Halo, right? Part of Microsoft that are saying, hey... I need you to do what is absolutely best for this so I can get the yeah. best return on my investment. There is a business behind Infinite, right? And Microsoft and 343, all of this. And those are the people that are actually really guiding the, the game more than anything, right? But I think 343 has taken a stand in many ways saying, hey, listen, we know that our base does not like X amount of things. We're going to mm -hmm. double down on what did work. We're going to use older elements. We're going to evolve them. But we are going to cater to them this time because we've tried the other things and they haven't worked you know so we're going to evolve yeah. it but we're going to but but we're going to keep it true to what it is so i think that yes there could be another faction like you were talking about i wanted to bring up the fact that did you guys remember in the audio update they had like a two minute snippet of like a bunch of different sounds yeah run or lots of weird it, stuff in there yes yeah. but at the 14 mm -hmm. second mark or i think the 17 second mark around there there is a creature in that that sounds mm -hmm. vicious. And although now we know that there's no vicious animals on the ring, that has oh, to be... Oh, we do know that. Yes. So that <clears throat> is not an animal. That is a creature of some sort. That's what? an enemy. That's an enemy. That's not, that's not just like a bird that's flying in the sky. That's not just some animal on Zeta. That's an enemy, you know? Can so, I just buddy, say, real quick, how, how disappointed <laughs> I am that there aren't vicious creatures? I mean, we're talking about, like... You know, the universe has, like, there's so many different things they could do. Like, in Halo Reach, that uh, scene where we killed yeah. those, uh, I think they're called Guru or Goo, something. But, like, oh, the yeah. big, 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 big vicious, things. walking upright, clawed creatures. And I, I just thought how cool gutas, it would be in Halo Infinite. Yeah. Uh, if you went into, like, an ancient human cave, because we're most likely going to be see seeing, uh, by the way, temples and, and Mayan-like temples from ancient humans that lived here, by yeah. the way. I don't know if y'all saw that. Yeah, definitely. It's really underrated, but... There are concept art pictures officially from 343 Stream revealing warthogs driving through what looks like ancient cities, like yes. think Mayan temples. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be super cool. But oh. imagine like going inside there and like going on like a whole freaking weird uh, quest that's not even related to the campaign of like that's exactly weird pamphlets saying. and information and drawings on the wall like we saw back in 2018 and and then hearing something in in that dark room you know hiss at you would be so cool but Good. no vicious creatures i hope they change that uh i think you... it would take away from the game all right anyway go on no 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 no, no. go ahead i think it would take away from the enemies like if you're fighting the banished but you know while fighting the banished although i agree with you i think it'd be super cool like fighting a a, a massive alien tiger or rhino that you're like hold on am i fighting the banish or am I fighting a rhino like it it could be a little it, jarring maybe it should sometimes. be a spare and few part like if you're obviously going off path and discovering some weird thing i i think it would mix up the game a lot honestly i mean i agree it shouldn't yeah. be like literal all over the place we're fighting the banished not wildlife here but <laughs> you know when, there, when the opportunity presents themselves and i i think there will be moments where i think running into some you know jump scare would actually be really fun <laughs> yeah man i Finding think so a weird alien yeah. would be cool yo jaris is there a way that you can go to that audio update and let us hear that uh you're talking about the yeah i could probably do that give me a second if you can do that i want you guys to hear this because this is not some it, uh, it kind of sounds like a promethean a little bit if you guys want to be able to hear it too here we'll just do that that should be yeah let's do it but the thing is um it's 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 literally uh 
it sounds like maybe the closest thing could be a Promethean, but I think it's I, uh, yeah, I think definitely. it could be like Flood. Where is that? Yeah, Where is that? you know. So anyway, um, One what does chat think? Organic. It so it organic. does sound right. It does sound yeah, organic. yeah, definitely. So uh, sh- can I share your screen here? Uh, yeah, you should. I think so. you can. Yeah, you should be able to do that. Uh, someone well, no, said no, flood is that... coming. Oh, uh, same sound yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Just so, oh, just so. Uh, to listen you... to Halo Infinite music on Spotify. No, 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 not that. Where no, 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 no. You got to go to Halo Waypoint, and then it's like just type in Halo or Inside Infinite Audio Update there. or something like Hold that. I'm already there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so scroll down a little bit. Sample track. Here it is. Here it is. Right here. All right, we're listening. It's like a two-minute one. A two-minute one. Okay. I haven't it's like heard this. two minutes long or something like that. It's like a culmination of a bunch of different audio tracks. No, I don't hear it. Maybe animal sounds more cool than that. I don't hear it. Do you hear it? Can you guys not hear, I hear it? No, I can't hear it. Nope. Okay. Oh, maybe it's not being streamed to the... Uh... Regardless, yeah. you know... Bottom no. line is you guys should be able to hear oh, this. I, I can hear it on the YouTube stream. Okay, cool. you can. Right. Oh, you okay. can. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys, <laughs> but I'm just mirroring here. Okay, so hold on one second. You got to go to the 17. You got to go around the 14 to 17 second mark. So start at like 10, and it's right before 20 seconds. Wow. Do you guys hear that? Yeah, that yeah, that's like cool. It's kind of like uh, something from Avatar. I mean, yeah. that might just be the soundscape. There's there's a lot of wild creature sounds um, in the background of Halo maps, really. I, I'm specifically thinking Forge World, if y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the thing is, I, when I heard that, though, I was like, eh, I don't know if that sounds like a bird in the background. I don't <laughs> think that sounds like an animal. I think that either could be a Promethean or Flood. There's nothing else that that can be, personally. I don't think so. You know, maybe it could yeah. just be wildlife. Maybe I mean, I'm wrong, even... but I'm willing to bet on flood <laughs> or for me. Well, even if you watch Waking the Nightmare, like the flood reveal, it sounds vaguely like that. Honestly, it does. Yeah, it sounds like, like an like elevator. Bug. Someone said, "No, it doesn't." <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like an elevator. No. Well, if you get to hear the sounds before that. <laughs> elevator. All right, uh guys, do you want to do you want to call this here? Uh yeah. I mean, I think tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun. All of us are doing definitely, watch parties. Definitely. We have it's to talk about this a little bit off stream though. I want to find out how yeah. we're going to go about doing yeah, this. Yeah, definitely, definitely yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's very impromptu. We can't just come up with it all on stream. Well, we okay, just... I guess Wait, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I say we spend another 6 or 7 minutes kind of giving our conclusions and and main thoughts before tomorrow okay yeah, unless you guys fair. plan to do that all of us all of us have a minute or so let's, let's uh yeah let's half. start, let's start with down the line here. with footage goes yeah 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 footage you go first yeah talk oh, about like, what you want to see <laughs> well yeah, it doesn't have to be uh, footage yeah, yeah, what are you mostly now? hoping to see no. what are you mostly hoping to see uh, in like 16 hours 17 hours whatever it is at this uh, event. okay something that just looks like halo that's 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 it for me um, I just want to see something that gets me excited uh, to want to play this game. I'm already, you know, I'm already in the, uh, I want to say, in the mindset that this game's going to be quite great. But I, I, I think for me, what's going to be really important um, to get, you know, to get the hype moving after after this E3 reveal will be if the game looks and feels like Halo, right, I'm going to be straight away sold. That's sold. So I... Things I want to see. Um, the BTB 2.0 mode, uh, whatever that is, I just want to see how that works in action. Um, is it a similar feel to, you know, uh, Warzone, just on a, on a bigger scale without the wrecks? Or will it actually be like BTB, just with an extra, you know, 18 people to make it like 30v30 or 32v32? Yeah. So you're looking um, towards player count? Yeah, yeah, player count. In, in um, and just, just it needs to be fun. If it looks, if it looks fun, um, feels like Halo, I will be sold on the game. <laughs> That's pretty much Absolutely. me. Yeah. So, uh, our, I'm just gonna pretty much reference my list. So, if you guys already saw that from yesterday, then whatever. But uh, if you haven't, um, I want to see 
big team battle, obviously. Player count. I want to see a few sandbox weapons that are... Can y'all hear me, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Everyone's like super silent. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I want to see player count. I want to see fun sandbox weapons. I'm tired of just point and shoot. It's mm. like there's more to Halo than that. Like the brute shot yeah. is bouncy. The sticky detonator is crazy. The <laughs> grappling cook. I want to see some of that as well in the gameplay. I want to see more about big team battle. What are the new features? Because there's, there's probably going to be pelican drops. There's going to be, you know, something that's going to be different in this game i want to see buttons that you can open and close doors with that will take time to open and close there's a yeah. lot more elements like if you think about high ground from halo 3 there's there was that huge advantage that you would have if you managed to get behind the wall and open the door i want to see stuff like that especially with player count there's a lot of crazy stuff you could do um but also pickups is this actually battle royale uh or is it something else and how are pickups going to be what are you going to start with and what are you going to be able to find but those are the main things i could keep going for forever but uh i'll <laughs> yeah. pass it to infinite <laughs> so i think uh <clears throat> i think tomorrow what we're going to see is essentially xbox is going to have a really well done you know uh 20 years of xbox showcase uh but there's going to be a trailer of some sort that We'll have a lot of the early on games and it'll start with Halo CE and it'll end with Halo Infinite, right? That trailer. And then I think maybe that's at the end of the show, but at the beginning of the show, I think Halo Infinite opens it up. Um, I think what we're going to see is, is essentially some Spartans uh, in a Pelican basically looking over just this massive landscape, which is the new battleground. Uh, you're going to see a few new banished vehicles, uh, a few new weapons. A um, few new gameplay mechanics and grenades and whatnot. Uh, I think you'll also see just like how overall gameplay really works. I think you'll see a little bit of customization or different Spartans that we just haven't seen before. Um, and and I really think it's just going to be the marketing behind it is is going to be about hey, step into the shoes of the Spartan, engage into a really immersive mode. BTB has become bigger than ever larger you know it's because you got to think about it they're doing a flight right so close to launch they can't really change the game the only thing they can really test is right. like the technical side of things so why why would you push it off like that a because you're probably just so confident in the game right or else they would have done it earlier but you could also combat that but i think the bottom line is this game's going to try to push player count more than Halo ever has before. Mm. I think the 16 player BTB thing is gone. I really am betting on like a 32v32 something larger that fits in scope with people what people expect for like audiences coming from Fortnite and and Apex. But um I think it's going to be 8 minutes of gameplay, a minute, minute 30 of a uh, trailer of some sort that showcases multiplayer and then a little bit of campaign at the very end or sometime in the middle. Um, and I think that's pretty much going to be it. And then after that, I think Unishek's going to say, how are we all feeling? How do, what you guys think of it? And then we'll probably get a blog post in the coming, I don't know, week or so after that, encouraging people to sign up for Halo Waypoint. And then in July, sometime around there, latest August, we get a, a beta for a couple of weeks. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, man. So in terms of like what I what I hope for or what I want to see or what I think we're gonna see, um, I don't know. I mean, I think everyone's kind of covered it. I think we're gonna see some multiplayer that scratches the itch. I think we're gonna see specifically with regards to the BTB 2.0 thing. I think we're gonna see multiplayer that really looks like Halo, like Halo we've played before, but just big. You know what I mean? Just like bigger than ever before. Yeah. Like yeah. never like on the level. Like imagine if in Halo Five. Instead of making Warzone its own thing, they just made BTB with 24 Spartans. How nuts would that be? Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of tough to follow up because you guys had awesome points. So for me, what I'm looking <laughs> forward everything. to is everything you guys have said. <laughs> everything. I'm also looking forward to seeing more co-op vehicles because that's my favorite thing in Halo. I love the Warthog. I love yes. the Falcon. Yes. Spectre. I love co-op vehicles. It's unique in Halo. Um, I also am looking forward to, I think Halo Follower mentioned earlier, is the weapons. 
I like that they mentioned that in Halo Infinite, they want each weapon to feel distinct, a part of the sandbox. Because when you look at Halo 4, Halo 5, all the weapons feel really similar. They're just, you know, damage-type weapons. Mm, and um, right, the yeah. Promethean weapons, they look cool, but they're just bad. Like <laughs> They really don't add much to the sandbox, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to that. And, you know, just to end it off, I hope Halo Infinite, when they show it again, which they've shown each time, I just hope it imbues Halo. Like, when we see this, I hope it's like, that is Halo. Because in my opinion, people keep saying, like, you know, Halo needs to have top-tier visuals. It needs to evolve and not be the old Halo games. But in my opinion, 343 has been trying to do that. Halo 4 looks beautiful, ground, you know, for the 360. Uh, Halo 5 had advanced mechanics, but in my opinion, that's not what made those games great. I think what would make Halo great is, you know, just imbuing everything that makes Halo Halo, you know, I look at something like, uh, this is off topic a little bit. I look at something like The Mandalorian, what Disney released, right? I love that show. Imbues everything that's Star Wars, where people don't like the Disney Star Wars movies. And that's why, you know, credit to what 343 kind of did with the franchise. You know, they went in a different direction, didn't work out. So they went back to the core of what makes that product that product. And I think that's what Halo Infinite can be. And I think that's what it's going to be. That's a good point. I think this is going to be the closest thing to the Halo that we know that we've had in quite literally a decade. I, I'll stand by that. I know people are going to call me a fanboy, whatever. I think that's the case. For sure. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. All right, anything else? Any, any other closing statements or anything? There was a, <laughs> Stay there was a picture I was <laughs> actually going to show. <laughs> Absolutely. It's by um, an X343 contractor, Caleb, if you guys remember the guy. Yeah. Oh, yes. He just he I know posted him. this. I put it on my the stream. Yeah. Um, but yeah, ah, I, really I saw him. This. I saw him making this, dude. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah. Sure. And, and he actually got some models from Glitch, which is helping me with the Lost Wolf. So shout out, we're you know. Yeah, Glitch good, has helped think. me with a lot of stuff too. The, I think the spires are his, and then He's, the the chief is his. Yeah, he is a great modeler. But Same. yeah, I don't know. I just thought I would drop this at the end of the stream because this it's kind of like yeah, a cool, it looks beautiful, it's exciting right? thing to look forward to. Yo, we might get the... some campaign screenshots at the very least tomorrow. Did you maybe did a you few, st- right? <laughs> maybe a blog post. Uh, maybe Ron, yeah, another did you, damn blog post. Did you see uh the BTB? Because you here, pull up, go on Twitter, pull up my BTB one. You'll see how close those two are. Can you pull up the two next to each other? Yeah. All right, do that real maybe quick. Because put... the thing is, he I'm pretty sure he got inspired from from my art piece. But the thing is. Oh. No, you'll see it. You'll literally see this. Yeah, I okay? see it. <laughs> but but Caleb, Caleb is honestly, he's so talented, man. And he's such a nice guy. Like, such a nice... Yeah, look at the two. <laughs> like Yeah, there yeah. there's some really cool sceneries to think about. Because yeah. I, I really haven't even thought about sunsets or dawns. And then also, like, we're, we're talking about multiplayer. Multiplayer's... Crap. This stream's going to go on forever if I keep bringing up fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if I do say so myself. But I'm thinking about, like, time of day on multiplayer maps and whether they're oh. going to be in real time based on where you are in the world or based on where it is, no, uh, how, what the time make, of day is in Seattle. A million other things, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, and then, like, weather, you know, is the, how, how advanced is the weather system? Um, we saw a snow Zeta Halo covered in snow, like, a couple years back. and. Mm. You know, oh, man, even seasons uh, on Dude. multiplayer map. There's a lot. There's a lot. And those things are probably going to be implied tomorrow. Like, what mm-hmm. if there's a CG cutscene that shows the same map, but during different times of day? You're going to make know, me uh, act up, bro. Chill. Weather. You're going to make me app up. You're going to make me do something <laughs> I'll regret. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go ahead and call it here before we fall into a, 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 an infinite cycle of... Uh... Of infinite of theorizing. Infinite. <laughs> an infinite cycle of infinite. Yeah, there you go. Alrighty, well, um, hey. I'm going to do an outro here, Ron. If you want to do an outro here, too, go ahead. Because yeah. you got a big old stream going on, too. Uh, I appreciate you guys for all coming out so much today. Uh, I wanted to say, uh, a buddy of mine wanted to sh- wanted me to shout out that he's going to be streaming Star Wars um, Return of the Jedi on our Discord right now. So if you want to join the Discord, I've just posted oh. a link in my chat. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um... Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, and guys, check that out in the description. That's the uh, the source stream on the very top link. You'll find Jerry Saunders, uh, his stream, which I'm kind of bouncing my audio off your stream, by the way. So, gotcha. go in your stream super soon after I stop talking. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to Jerry Saunders for organizing this. Um, I was like 
kind of late to the stream and i was like oh let me just kind of mirror your stream <laughs> well it was a good idea so i'm just i mean i'm, I'm on a parasite on. right now i'm just i'm i'm the parasite. but man people are people are watching halo follower it's just about 600 views yeah dude 100. you were we got to like 800 at one point on your side yeah Nuts. very cool very cool and Alrighty. guys uh, i'll be streaming tomorrow we'll be prime mixing our streams 